Hello everyone, welcome back to Fallout 76. So we are in the mire, and I have to say, they did a remarkable job at really getting some good atmosphere here. So we just did a, um, a hunt for a cryptic, cryptoid, a, um, a wendigo. Got some good screws out of it too, and some armor we're not going to use. So, let's go ahead and continue with our quest, the missing link. We're going to the Free State's bunker to get it repaired. It's up here to the east. And we're just entering the mire, only just entering it. And we're already seeing all these really interesting things. That was cool, the Hopewell Cave. But yeah, we gotta be careful because there's airborne gas and you can't go in the water because there's diseases. It's harder to see the ground too. Um, because the grass is taller. Okay, we're right next to this house. We might as well get it. Let's see what kind of monsters are here. Southampton Estate. All the houses are like full of these roots. They're just slowly tearing apart all the houses. It's really a little intimidating. Let me just make sure. Oh! I have to remember to reload this. Electrified Buzz Blades mod. Ella Ames probably has a story associated with her, but we don't know what it is. Bobblehead. Strength. We've had some miscellaneous quests send us out this way. I don't think she was one of them though. Oh well. Let's check out the garage. Dog food! Always need more dog food. I hear an officer. Hey, medicine. Kill more with stim packs. Rusty, Raider Rusty Knuckles. Let's go find that officer. Highland Marsh. There he is. Oh! My other queen. I mean, it's legendary, but it's level 50. <laughs> if it wasn't legendary, I think we could probably do it. But I don't want to get into a fight right now like that. No. Get the supply drop just popped way back here. Sure. Wait, what's this? That's a vent. I think we're just going to walk away from that Myrler Queen. Oof. There's a vault up ahead. It keeps acting like it's right in front of me, but it's not. Fade away, please. There you go.
another officer nearby. Ah, there's the thing. It's up on top of the ridge. That's a big ant. From a single hit. Oh. Where'd that legendary go? There it is. That wasn't a legendary, it was a crown. It's up in the middle of the tower. That's cool. Huh. A minigun. Chainsaw long bow bar. It's a mod. What is swamp gas? Let's find out if it's worth getting rid of. Wendigo knowledge. For three for another four hours we have damage versus Wendigos. Interesting. Charisma minus two, is that a problem? Like, it's not preventing me from getting Lone Wanderer, is it? I never know what the stat things do. Let's get rid of it, just to be safe. Alright, was there a scrap thing at the bunker? I don't remember. Maybe we should just continue on to the Free States bunker. Okay, hopefully it won't put us right next to the Queen. I think there was something right here. Let's find out. Nope. But look at it, you can like follow the the vines. They all came out of there, then went down, then went down, then went up, and took through that place. I wonder if you'd like follow them all the way back if they'd like go somewhere. Anyway. Queen's out here somewhere. God, that's a creepy looking tree. But like, if you were to follow these vines, would they, like, would they lead you to places? I don't know. But yeah, this place has great atmosphere. It's just really impressive. Even during the day. Uh, 
Alright. I'm not seeing any enemies guarding the outside. Abby's bunker. Hey, it's an overseer's place. Overseer's log, Free State's bunker. Sam Blackwell and Raleigh Clay. Those damn traitors and their secessionists turned their backs on America to form their free states. Concrete bunkers. You'd never get that past a vault tech radiation proofing inspection, that's for sure. Sounds like they let go of their paranoia long enough to seek out help from the other survivors. Just have to hack this terminal, see what they left behind in there, and what they wanted to do. All right. If you're reading this, we're not extinct yet. Humankind needs your help. Okay, and it does go on. Suddenly it got all dark. The outside was fine. Greetings, stranger. Now don't panic. My name is Abby. I'm not your enemy, and this isn't a trap. In fact, if you're hearing this, it means I'm not even alive. No. I was with a group called the Free States. We gave our lives trying to finish what we called the Scorch Detection System. The system will let you know when the Scorched are coming and has the means to help deal with the Scorch Beasts. If you can help, I've created a set of recorded instructions to complete the system. First, you need to find the final communications uplink, and chances are high it'll need repairs. We entrusted it to a guy named Madigan and told him to place it on the antenna at top of the world. Find the uplink. You can use my workbench here to repair it. Then, check in at the main SDS terminal to trigger my next recording. If you're still there, I really hope you're willing to help a dead girl out. So, good luck. And if not, well, enjoy dealing with the scorched. And if by some chance this is Madigan, your timing sucks. <laughs> no, Madigan, Madigan is long dead. Sorry. Where are you? Abby, where are you? I've been waiting for hours. I can't wait any longer, but I wanted to tell you something. I hope you find this note. I hear you are thinking about going out to Watoga. Don't. It's not safe. I don't know what, but it sounds like everyone there got killed or something. From our field. Could be there's only a rad roaches here. It doesn't really feel like a hostile place. You know? Oh, I can't pick it up, I guess. is to do. Finish recording on the master holotape. Reprogram checks for scanning Sam's terminal. Check expiration dates on Stimpax. Try not to lose it.
I'll read the terminals in a moment. Well, no, I can read them now, sure. Personal notes, this is Naraj Singh. Dear Jen, we did it. We officially moved into the bunker today. Since we had room for a few more, we took on the Coens. Did you know they just had a little girl? I'm sure Abby and Cal will appreciate the distraction. Some other kids to pick on besides each other. So far, we're all a little excited. It's more of a camping trip right now than a reality. The kids are getting restless now. Seems the newness of the bunker has worn off. Abby's old enough that I can distract her with a few small engineering projects, though she's missing our friends. Calvin and Daniel, on the other hand, are around the same age, and this place can barely contain their energy levels. At least us adults can still get a, appreciate a good drink once the kids are in bed. I just noticed they gave me a new quest to investigate Watoga. Dear Jen, Raleigh and Sam were right. It finally happened. China dropped the bomb. We felt the bright vibrations go through the entire bunker, and the kids barely left my side since. The news has been chaotic. So far, the bunker's integrity has held. No radiation has gotten through. Let's hope it stays that way. Raleigh sent out a call last night asking if anyone would like to attempt to rebuild a life outside at Harper's Ferry. After some discussion with the kids and the Coens, we decided to try. It's not going to be easy, but if Abby and Cal can live a life where they see the sky and intera interact with more people, I think it's worth a lot. Worth a shot. Bah. My dearest Genevieve. Um, Geneva? It's been a while. I haven't written on this terminal since we left for Harper's Ferry, but we're back. It was a seven year effort, but a failed one. This new world is more dangerous than we anticipated. There's a new creature out there we call the Scorched. It takes over an organism somehow. Bears, deer, even people. Until we can devise a way to keep to face them, we're back in the bunker where I can keep Abby and Cal safe. We lost the Coens to this aberration. I won't lose our children. Proposal. Scorched Detection Devices. Ella believes the Scorched have a unique radiation signature. Ah. Excuse me. I bumped into the counter. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I can rig a device that can detect this and send out a signal. They're everywhere, man. There's no there's no reason to Oh well. It could be a type of early warning system. If we have the means to fight, we can fight. If not, we can retreat to our bunkers. I'll start drawing up plans tonight. We've talked about adding detectors to the surrounding regions so we have better eyes into what might be coming our way. This will require a greater communications network than I can rig together. I think we can somehow utilize the relay towers for this. I'm pretty sure I can build a communication uplink to pick up and send our own signals. Eddie is putting together a team for us to go investigate. It's absurd how often these uplinks become damaged due to local wildlife. After Terry's death, I've decided to construct a robot that can handle it. I found an iBot that I think we can make use of. We found some tech at Camp Venture, left behind by the Brotherhood of Steel. First time we've heard of Camp Venture. That's interesting. Ella is theorizing that we can make adjustments to it to create a, a type of sonic trap for the Scorch Beast. If we can find the right frequency, I think we'll be able to disorient it, maybe even ground it, long enough to kill it. The Glowing Swamp. To all. We recently survived the worst conditions the mire has ever seen. The following is documentation on steps to take should this happen again. Crevasse down. Dam. Crank the turbine to max flow to flush the river. Dire chem. Follow instructions on their operation clean and clear and flush it into the river to absorb the radiation. 3. Kill any and all glowing creatures you see. Questions? You know how to reach me. The Beinhardt. That sounds interesting. Eddie said they fought off some ghouls and mire lurks that looked to be infested with strangler vines. 
The creatures worked together as if something was controlling them. Eventually they found what he called the heart. Taking out the heart seemed to stop the creatures, but there's no guarantee that something like this couldn't happen again. Should anyone come across any vine infested creatures, report it immediately to Eddie and his team. This way they can locate any controlling heart in the area to stop it. I'm not sure how many people this will reach after the attack on Harper's Ferry, but rest assured we are working hard on a solution for this new threat. From the Brotherhood's last transmission, we know we're on our own, and we know their reports were real. All we can advise for now is to remain in what shelters you may have found, and if you must leave, stay under as much cover as possible. After many losses, we've set up several locations with Scorch Beast lures. Should you find yourself in a situation where a Scorch Beast is in your area, keep your pit boys on to listen for a priority message alerts. Eddie is making them as we speak. We'll be sending out instructions on proper usage soon, but remember, use your best judgment, use the lure if you are prepared, but if you can, always seek shelter first. Okay, this all seems very reasonable. Like they're they're putting together plans, they're trying to make everything happen well. Anyway. Can't open that. Dog tags. Abby's workstation. If you've made it in here, I'm hoping it's still safe to assume you're 100% human. I've yet to see Scorched or Super Mutants use a terminal. Read these entries. Save the world. Make it mean something. To the lucky survivor who found this terminal. My name is Abby. Abigail if you want to get technical. And I am, or was, the last surviving member of a group called the Free States. Since the war, Mother Nature has gotten quite creative. Her latest babies, the Scorched and Scorched Beasts, are by far our biggest threat. If you're interested in saving humanity, I'm really hoping you'll help a dead girl out and finish the system. Everything you need to know is on this terminal, along with a few other informative bits. Fingers crossed it's all still up and running. Everything you need to know about setting up the Scorched Detection System. Okay, technically not everything all at once, but once the system is detected that you're on board, the other entries will unlock. What is it? What is the SDS? I'm glad you asked. I like this woman's attitude. <laughs> the SDS is an early warning system for the Scorched. We've placed detectors all over Appalachia that pick up their special radiation signature. We were able to successfully pull off some local tests here in the mire but we weren't able to finish everything necessary to complete the system as a whole. That's where you come in. Find, repair, and set up Madigan's uplink. Recover routing schematics, gain security access codes, upload all this to the relay tower, reboot the system. It's not going to be as easy as it sounds, otherwise that I've done it all by now, right? Madigan, if by some miracle the reader is you, I hope you still have the last uplink. I couldn't find the materials to make another, so that sucker better that you still work or it can hopefully be repaired with the instructions I have left behind. The communications uplinks are key pieces to the SDS. The scorch detectors send their signals to the relay towers, and the uplink picks up on this and transmits the data to a satellite that then relays it back down to a my amazing setup right here. We were able to set up one at each relay tower. But we still need one set up on the, at the top of the world. If you've managed to find the uplink that Madigan lost there, you can trigger my next message with the uplink repaired option. Can I not look at this? The scorch detectors are triggered by motion. Once activated, if they pick up the unique radiation signature of the scorched, they'll send a transmission to the closest relay tower. Detector malfunctions. If you're reading this, it means the Meyer detectors need some upgrades. Needs fan motors. Find these in Raleigh's bunker, and we get a password. Heating coils, also in the bunker. Ella's bunker, and the relay tower. And you have some in your own place. And upgraded motors. 
Make him a tinker's workbench once you have the motor and coils. Wood armor schematic. Look in Raleigh's bunker for this. It's got the instructions for some protective gear that will make it harder for all of them to attack the spot you. Interesting. Do wood does wood armor have innate um, stealth? Perhaps. Interesting. Entry locked until progress can be verified. Okay. And these are the same. So we need to go repair the thing. Scenarios returning from Raleigh's. Ransacked and nothing found. Entry terminal busted. Motors and heating coils found. Bunker flooded. Motors no longer working. Scorch living there. Aliens. It's always aliens. Go for the aliens. So, I, I like this woman. She's like trying to say, she's setting up like a tree of um, potential responses to several issues that come up. And it's setting up like redundancies and all that. This is somebody who's got their act together. Oh, uh, now we're going to learn about how our father died, I'm assuming. Something there. Holotape, everyone is gone. <sighs> Prepare to cry. Dear Holotape, I'm pretty sure that everyone I know is dead. If we hadn't bothered with this stupid, stupid system, they'd all still be here. Well, guess what? If you all die, that kind of defeats the purpose. Why couldn't we just stay in our bunkers? Why do we even have to go out there? I'd rather eat cram every day and never see the sun again than be stuck here, alone. I miss my mom and my dad. You guys are supposed to be here. You took me away from my friends and my life all on your stupid promise that things were gonna be fine, that this was best, and is it? I can't do this on my own. I don't want to do this on my own. I just want things back the way they were. Poor kid. Let's read more about it. My dad thinks I'm old enough to start learning a thing or two about the Scorch detection system. And it's just been work, work, work ever since. I hate it. I mean, I get the scorched sock and wiped out Harper's, but do they really think all this is going to work? I'm pretty sure we're screwed, and I'll be starting at cinder staring at cinder block walls for the rest of my life. She was not wrong. Dax is gone. He disappeared, but we all know he's dead. It's the last time anyone should trust Calvin to do anything. I don't even see why I had to have a brother. I could have been an only child. Twice the birthday presents, double the allowance, and best of all, a dog that would still be alive. That's terrible. Find information about the brother to steal. Interesting. So that would have sent us here, apparently, because it, it brought up a new quest and immediately completed the first objective. The Brotherhood's gone. Their last message was about defiance falling, wherever that is. Now Raleigh is putting together a group to see what they can salvage from their old stomping ground, Camp Venture. They may have been assholes, but if anyone stood a real chance against the Scorched, it was the Brotherhood. I'm curious about what happened, but that would mean finding this Fort Defiance. And from the sound of that message, it's probably crawling with Scorched. I picked up a really faint radio signal the other night. It was a woman's voice. It sounded like she was offering help, but I couldn't make it out. The signal comes and goes. It seems to get a little stronger as I went west towards the mountains. That must be um, Maria Chavez from the responders. I want to check it out now that everyone's gone. I could really use some help from someone, anyone who's still alive. But I'd have to go through raider territory to get close enough for the signal to come in strong. I just can't risk it. This sucks. It's been one year since I lost my dad. I was reading through his terminal and I remembered how dead set he was on saving us. 
He trained me as much as I hated it to know the SDS inside and out, so I could be here to finish it if he died. And then he died, and I did nothing. Starting today, as much as it terrifies me to try, I'm going to finish this system. It's what they all died for, even Calvin. I'm pretty sure this won't end well, but I have nothing to lose. A while back, I said I'd finish the SDS. I realized that the chances of my success are maybe a bazillion to one. So first, I spent way too much time rigging a million different things so if someone else found my bunker after I'm gone, they have a chance to finish it as well. And now that's done. And I realize this may be my last entry. I've packed a bag, and I'm off to the top of the world to finish Madigan's, to find Madigan's uplink. Have we found her? I don't remember if we found her. I don't know. A cryptic radio message, a mystery to be solved. We never found the radio message. It's a main quest. Abigail Singh never had a chance to find the Brotherhood of Steel's headquarters, some place called Fort Defiance, but she did know about Camp Venture. I guess that's where it's going to send me. It's way down here. Okay. That's actually not that far from Sugar Grove. And what, here's Watoga, which looks like it's a mess. Okay. We'll deal with that later. We're going to focus on this part of it right now. Poor kid. Let's go ahead and um, fix this thing for her. Now that's how they kept this place powered all this time. I don't have the skill for it. I could if I were to switch, but I'm too lazy. Interesting. It had spoiled meat. Maybe not. Maybe it had regular meat. There's some heating coils. Remember we said we need some of those. Girded leather. I think that's better than the treated leather, perhaps? I don't know. Okay, so we have to craft this thing. It's the repaired... Okay, I'm... I don't remember if I've done that. I think I already did that. I think that was a different quest. There we go. While we're here, let's make some more 45. Link repaired. If this message is playing, it means two things. The good. You've got a working uplink. The bad. Some of the scorch detectors in the area are malfunctioning and need upgraded parts. It looks like my fear of the Myers ecosystem wreaking havoc on them Ooh. has come true. For these repairs, first you need to get to Raleigh Clay's bunker. He's got replacement motors for the fans we use to keep the detectors dry. Oh, and write this down. 
R plus P421. It's Raleigh's password, and you'll need it. If you didn't catch that or you want more info, you can always check my workstation terminal. It's all there. Good luck. Let's read these. Or listen to these. It bugged. It always does that. I forget that. Discarded introduction. Howdy, stranger. Ugh. Oh god. I can't believe I said that. This is stupid. You're all alone. No one to hear. No one judging. And you can't say a simple line. Great. God, I've been there. Hey there, survivor. Ugh. Equally terrible. Welcome to my humble bunker where we're all dead. By the way, how about you do a crap ton of super dangerous work that I promise you is worth it. You're on board, right? Of course you are, because the fate of humanity depends on it. And my work here is done. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. It's for them, not for you. I can do it for them. I can do this. I've been there, where I'm trying to star an episode, and I like say, "Hello, everyone. I'm going to blah blah what blah, 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 and then turn it off and turn it back on again. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's oddly difficult to begin, but once you have, it all just kind of flows in a stream of consciousness sort of way. Here, there's another one. Discarded scenario recording. Scenario 5, a worst case. This recording means my bunker is running on auxiliary power. You have ideally four hours, potentially less, to somehow restore power and save the system. Let's see. Generator manuals here, spare parts at Thunder Mountain. That would be fun. <laughs> Tools. Forget it. There's about a million reasons here, and I seriously can't cover them all. Maybe the bunker is sinking. Maybe one of those beavers on buff out chewed through the power lines. Maybe the generator just gave up on life. Can't win them all, Abby. Moving on. Another holotape for the trash. Alright. Let's see if there's anything more unlocked. Uh, this was the locked one. No, it was the next one. Okay. Entry locked until more has been verified. I think it said like upload relay at some point there, but I was like focused on other things. Anyway. So where are they sending me? Way down there. Just follow the road? Have we actually done that level? I don't remember. Yes, we have. We're already close to the next level, though, so. Alright. So, just follow the road down. It's pretty! Look at this light! And those things, they do. There are hearts. There are vine hearts that you have to kill, probably. Oh, that's just lovely. There is a map marker over there, but I, I want to stay focused for now. Let's see what this is. It's a car that's being picked up by vines. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like it. Oh my. That really brings home what these vines are capable of. 
I mean, you know, we saw them tearing apart like a, um, a little house, but... Lifting a car. That's, um, that's quite a thing. We have a quest coming up in front of us, a messenger. Nope, we are not gonna do that. Is it getting green? I think it is. We are not doing the messenger. Oh, we're thirsty. We're kind of hungry too. Do I have any good food? Uh, not really. We'll find a um, cooking place at some point. Yeah, I know. I'm leaving intentionally. So there's another bunker right over there somewhere. Oh, great. this area this area I, I, I I'm not sure it's my favorite I'm not quite convinced it's my favorite but it's certainly up there it's certainly an impressive looking area I don't like bugs if there are um, if there are too many of those bee things I'm gonna freak out yeah let's get this we're on the way Powering up thunder. This is Squire Rosen. Thunder Mountain sure. is offline. Repeat, Thunder Mountain is offline. Any brothers with a background in engineering, report to the plant for immediate repairs. Any brothers? Oh, this is Squire Rosen's. This is this is um a brotherhood thing. Well, I'm gonna go there just for the just for learning more about the brotherhood. Make basic repairs to several places. I should have made more ammo, perhaps. Alright, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, I will turn off this for now. Just focus on the event. It's claimable. Thunder Mountain Power Yard. It's telling me to go inside? Really? No, I don't have time for this.
This is so cool, I like it. But yeah, wants me to go inside. Or maybe it wants me to go through this area? I don't know. Nope. Scorched. Well, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> it's right here. Is it below? Look at them sliding towards us. God. Oh, then it's right up here, perhaps. No, I don't think that's supposed to be accessible. Yeah, I didn't even build the textures on it right. So far, so good. Ooh, radiation. Is this what we need to repair? Yeah, okay. Odd sounds. Gatling laser. Hazmat suit might be useful. I should certainly radex something else. Holding. Sons of Dane again. Grendel coming. That might have just killed me right there. Yeah, he had a minigun. Great. This is kind of satisfying. We're slowly making this better, you know? Hmm. 
I need to go back up. Yeah. There you go. Nice, some plasma grenades. How do I get out? There? Yeah. Okay, we'll deal with that first. It's like doing map markers for the individual bits. Now that we're close, perhaps? Because we're going to be ahead of this before we get all the repairs Reactor done. If there's only a few little bits left, I'll go ahead and get it. There we go. Okay, now we have to leave. Oh dear, oh dear. That was longer to fall than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I wanna go that way, but it's not letting me. Open the door, please. Anything I want to just grab real quick? No. We'll be back here. I'm sure that's how we turn it on eventually. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get back outside. No! I never want that to appear. It, when it does, it's always a bad thing. So this is the generator system, I guess. At least these guys aren't very well armed. They're high level, but poorly armed. That's back outside. Good enough. I'd love to crawl through this place and loot, but there's just stuff to do. It should give me a map markers. Great! 
Well, that could have gone worse. No, that's just outside. Ah, uh, there. Generators are working again. I'm gonna fully repair because, of course, if I can find the other bits. Ooh, a quantum. Maybe they're way up on top? There's one. No, that's the outdoors again. That's down. This leads nowhere. You know what? I bet I'm wrong. I bet there's like multiple places where you have to go. That would lead to Cooling Tower 2. I really want the generator. But I'm not. Let's just follow the map. Are the waypoints. Come on. <laughs> okay. Ooh, big bike. Okay. Now it's time to go back in. Damn it. Uh, up on top. Hello? Don't see many withered. I thought I was a wendigo at first. I was like much more scared. Huh. I think I should go back in. I don't think this is what I want. Maybe. Oh, we've been here. I remember this place. Yeah, this led to the, this is the first place we repaired up. The generator itself. Or the um anyway. I think we should have gone in that cooling tower place. Oh, not that one. This is Tapalacia. Roof access might be a bit, might be a might be the right way to get, to get ah might be the right way to go to get over to the tower. Here, right, let's go up on the roof. All right, what's this? Cool. 
Cooling tower. Cooling tower one. I think the reason that this is being difficult is because there's two cooling towers and you have to repair both. And so, like, the map marker is in between the two or something. Sleeping in a bed gives you a rested bonus? Really? What do you do? Do you just sit there? I can't repair. I mean, there's clearly things needing repair here. It's like I didn't load in right or something. Oh, we're outside! Really? That's Killing Tower 1. Cooling Tower 2 is right here. Maybe that's the bit that we can deal with. No, no, go away! Ah! Stupid interface. This isn't going to work. Radworms, great. I need to be up on top. Where do I, how do I get up? Look, these are broken things. We clearly need to fix these broken things. It's counting. Yeah, we can walk out on the pipes. Just gotta be careful. Never mind, there's crossbars that make it tricky. Yes, I know I'm suffering from radworms. Ooh, look at all those map markers. That's silly. <laughs> I like it. That's the other tower, I'm guessing. Come on. Anything near? Doesn't look like it. We have to review our place. Now it lets me repair. Let's go ahead and at least do this one optionally. This is optional. But yeah, for some reason, just the map markers were not doing it for this event. Yeah, I'm bad at platforming.
Oh, apparently, apparently I did it. This is all the cooling system is repaired now. Let's see if we can go back in and do the generator now that we have better map markers. Hope there's not like a defend phase. There might be. There might be a hold out against waves of death claws sort of thing. Okay, where is it telling me to go? Right there. 26 away. Uh, that's, that's the restart. It's not the option. So... This is the turbine hall. I believe this is where all the repairs were. Yeah, like that one. Did we miss something in here? It's not map markering it, which is frustrating. Maybe there's like a secondary area. Mm. Bathrooms? Yeah. Back outside. Is there a local map? No, there isn't. Maybe this big thing in the center? No. Main plant. That's how you turn it on. Is there like another one? Boilers. This isn't the right place. What is that? Okay. Let's turn it on. We fail at doing the optional stuff. Here, let's... Now where am I? There it is. Okay. Or that's that's not it. Maybe that's what we need to do. That's just the door outside. There probably was an inside and outside component to that one that we'll just never see. 
Why are these metal piles around here? Are we about to, are we about to be attacked by robots, perhaps? Eighty percent generator system. Yeah. Uh. Let's just go ahead and restart. Thunder Mountain is back online. Repeat, Thunder Mountain is online. Repair teams, you are clear to stand down. Ad Victorium. I feel bad that we didn't finish the objective, the optional. Here, cure disease. This Gatling laser. We want to scrap that. We got this Ripper. Three damage, very fast. Uh, not my thing. Okay, well, if I'd known that it was going to complete right then, I would have um, kept looking. I thought we had it in our phase, and there was only half an hour left. Ooh. Berkeley Springs. There's Thunder Mountain turned on. I wonder if there's like rewards for having it all working. We've seen maps like this before. Like I'm thinking like Guild Wars 2 when you had all the temple bonuses and all that. Anyway. I'm overburdened. I don't want to be overburdened. Let's, uh... Drop the submachine gun. Well, that was fun. You know? I should maybe go for these events more often. They're, they're interesting. And that whole bit there of going around and fixing something up... I would love if more of the game is like that. Like, if part of playing Fallout, Fallout 4, was like going around and repairing everything, instead of just being a survivor. Oh! Oh, now it's making, uh, making a different effect, because it's on. That's cool! I like that. It's like impact in the world. You can see it directly. Here, I'm assuming this has been claimed. Yeah. Makes fusion cores, food, crystal, steel, nuclear, wood. What's this? Crystal! Ah, uh, that's mine. Really, it's someone else's, but... Whatever. Oh, I can just steal fusion cores. Okay. It is repaired. It doesn't seem right that some random other person could come and steal your fusion cores that you're defending or whatever. Yeah, let's see if we can find a workshop. No idea what's going on there. Iron deposit. No thank you. Uranium deposit I'll take.
I think this might be someone else's home. Hey, it's a prize bot! What a day! Awesome. The Great Appalachian Sweepstakes is not responsible for paying the required gift tax. Failure to do so is <laughs> the IRS. Enjoy your prize. Thank you, man. Yeah, claimed workshop. Can't be used until the enemies have taken over the workshop are defeated. So if I were to clear everything out, then I could claim it. Maybe. Yep, not the dirty water. Thank you, prize bot. Other players may initiate PvP with you. No. I'm gonna get rid of the hazmat suit. We already have one. I think our stash is like full. Yeah, 394. Anything I wanna throw in? We're not using 44 ammo anymore. Let's take out some of these fusion cells. Let's take out all of them. We'll find more if we need them. And some of the 10 millimeter. All right. Uh, they're like cartridges too. And we'll drop stuff. I need more 45. We're burning through it so fast. But no, um, Tinker's bench around here. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break here. We'll continue next time going towards this bunker. So thank you everyone for watching. Until next time.